Ahoy hoy everyone, Craig here at Disney's Hollywood Studios with another Disney dining review. And today I am eating at Backlot Express. What do they have here at Backlot Express? Well, hamburgers, cheeseburgers, nothing super exciting, except there is one thing that I feel like is kind of super exciting, a Cuban sandwich. And so since that's the one like slightly unique thing on the menu besides the vegetarian item, which I believe is a hummus based dish, Eventually down the road, I'm sure Rhino will get that if he hasn't before, but uh, yeah, so I, I went with the one thing that feels a little bit different. So I'm going to go ahead and place my mobile order, head inside and pick up my food and let's get to the eating. And just like that, I have my Cuban sandwich. So uh, it is your standard Cuban sandwich, obviously, Disney's take on a Cuban sandwich. It is a pressed sandwich with pulled pork, sliced ham, Swiss cheese, pickles. Of course, gotta have pickles. And then of course, mustard. And uh, it's beautifully pressed, not burnt. Bread feels crispy on the touch, but Hopefully it's still a little bit soft as well too. The cheese is just oozing and gooing out. And uh, this is $11.99. And like other quick service places, you know, it comes with French fries or carrot sticks or apple slices. And I've talked about it before. A lot of times when you'll order like the carrot sticks or apple slices, they'll end up giving you the French fries as well too. Uh, this is the first time for me that it has only been uh, the, the one item with it. So I, I wanted carrot sticks and I expected to get french fries and carrot sticks. I only got the carrot sticks. So I'm a happy camper. I hate wasting food. And if they would have put french fries on, on the little bucket here, then I would have, I would have ended up eating them. I would have felt terrible about myself and this entire day would have been ruined. But okay, the Cuban sandwich, this is the important food item here. And it looks good. When I opened it up to look inside, it made my mouth water and I'm hoping it tastes as good as it looks. This is probably not going to come as a surprise to many people out there, but obviously this is not the most authentic Cuban sandwich you will ever get. I mean, all the, all the ingredients are there to make it authentic, but go down to Miami and get a Cuban sandwich, even, even a lot of places here in Orlando, and you're gonna have one that is, uh, that is like, the cream of the crop, especially in Miami. But you know what? This one's actually really, really delicious too. Uh, that pickle is just completely popping in the sandwich. The the Swiss is just, it's melted the right amount. The, the pork and ham just have a nice saltiness to it that's then complemented really well with the mustard and, and honestly everything, the cheese and the pickle. This is, uh, this is a good sandwich. I am so happy I got this now. I've I've had my eye on it for a while, but never never pulled the trigger yet. I had other things that I wanted to to get before. But yeah, I'm where where has this been all of my life? I know I always just go straight to to Woody's lunchbox and and also to to Star Wars Galaxy's Edge for either a Ronto wrap or or for Docking Bay 7, but this oh, this is going to be added to my repertoire. But let me keep eating it. I'll see if my mind changes at all throughout this this culinary experience I'm going on, and then I'll give you my final thoughts. I'm starting on the second half of my sandwich. Uh, it was not cut evenly, so the first half was a little bit smaller, and now the second half is a little bit longer, and I'm actually very happy that I did it this way because my only complaint with the other side is while it was really delicious and tasted really good, it was that it was kind of lacking in the meat department. 
I needed more pork. I needed more ham. Well, lucky for me, this side is loaded with meat. This is meat heaven. It is like, you couldn't ask for more in this one bite. Like if there was any more meat in this, I'd have to start thinking maybe it's a corn dog. I don't know. I don't know why I chose corn dog. I could have chose anything. I could have chose hamburger. I don't, I don't even know where I'm going with it now. All I know is this is getting cold. So I'm gonna just go back to eating it and stop waving my hands before I throw the sandwich and then ruin my day again. I'm all wrapped up and uh, I'm gonna prove it. No, I'm not hiding the sandwich in my pockets. I've done that before, but not today. I really did eat it all and almost done with my carrot sticks because I gotta, gotta stay healthy here and uh, I gotta get my, my vegetables in. But uh, yeah, I am blown away by this sandwich. I really, really enjoyed it. It was actually just having that full sandwich with these carrot sticks, uh, that was like the perfect meal for me. It was actually really filling on its own. If I would have had French fries, I would have felt a little bit weighed down with it. So it was just a, it was a nice, nice meal. Good for a, good for a lunch. And you know what, you get the French fries, you're not super hungry. I think once again, it would be a nice splitting meal if, if you and the person that you're with just, you know, wanna, wanna take it a little bit easy. You got a big dinner coming up or, or just you don't like eating that much or you wanna get different food from around the park so you don't wanna go all in on one place. I, I really like this. So uh, once again, the lowest expectations for a quick service restaurant coming into this, didn't say that obviously in the video, but yeah, my expectations weren't high. And once again, I am just really pleasantly surprised with the experience. I really enjoyed it. And uh, so now I'll put the call out like I always do. If you like Backlot Express, uh, please let me know down in those comments below. Let me know what you normally get. And then of course too, if there's other places you want me to go to, please let me know in the comments below and I'll keep adding them to my list of, of places that I need to, to get a meal at. And if you haven't done so yet, please like this video and also make sure you are subscribed to the channel. That would mean a lot to me. And more than anything, uh, if you are planning an upcoming trip to Walt Disney World, please consider using Dreams Unlimited Travel. Using them is also supporting us directly. So, hey, that's the easiest way that you can help us. And then Patreon too, patreon.com slash disunplugged. So those are the ways to support us and like, subscribe, all that good stuff. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you had as much fun as I did because I really did have fun. I'll see you again soon with another Disney dining review. Uh, but yeah, I think that's it. So bye-bye.